Israel, I usually do not respond to critiques uh, during the discussion area. I usually just save that for the grade book uh, since it's more of an individual element. It's not really part of the discussion. Uh, but, but you know, with a comment like this, it really grabs my attention, you know, that uh, you didn't know where to start to get the illusion correct. And, and that concerns me because, you know, really the critique should be the last part of the week, you know, just, you know, almost... Uh, kind of easy points showing that you understand the lesson, but if you don't understand the lesson, it's hard. Uh, and, and that's, you know, something that we kind of need to identify and work on, and we really should work on together in areas like draft area or, or question for the professor area. Uh, but when you when you post a comment like this, you know, it really helps me understand that, that you're struggling, that you, you know, it's that you don't see some of, of how this lesson can work. And so what I wanted to do was, was try to pro provide you uh, with some explanations of how this can work. Because there's lots of different ways it can work. So let's go ahead and repeat this section uh, four times and look at three different ways to uh, do it. Here's the original. I'll leave it the original. Uh, we're looking at the hues and identifying what we need to do. So this is a yellow. This is a yellow. This is an orange, yellow, orange, orange being hue 30. Uh, and so we can see the difference in saturation. The right's higher, the left is lower. Uh, and in value, we need that as well. Uh, and this is going to be lighter, this is going to be darker. So we need to make this slide look darker, we need to make it look closer to orange, and we need to lower the saturation. Let me double check that. Yes, lower the saturation of this. So we need something that's high in saturation. Uh, and so the first method I'll use is the subtract. So I'll go ahead and I'll create a green of high saturation. And then I'll check the value. And I'm, I suspect that the green at full saturation is going to be uh, a lighter value than that center. And that's going to help that center appear darker. So the saturation and hue... Uh, are going to start pushing this towards E, uh, and then if we look at the value, we're going to see that the center here is 40% and the background 17. So that works out very well. Very simple kind of uh, explanation. For here, you need something that's darker uh, to make it appear lighter. You also need something that's lower in saturation. So my initial thought here is to go with a red, and then we'll we'll uh, use a shade to make sure that it's darker. And we'll start somewhere like here. And so saturation-wise, it's not it's it's not less saturated. So I need to lower the saturation more. Uh, but the hue is going to work to push this towards yellow. Uh, and then value-wise, I, I I'll go ahead and take a quick check. Value-wise, it's already darker. So what I need to do is get that saturation down next. And so I can take. This is 65, 60. I need to get at least there first because I like to make this simple. This doesn't need to be hard. So we'll lower this to 50. So it's, the S value is lower. And then we'll lower the B value. Uh, and now we're below it. I can see that it went darker. It's something we can measure. And so what happens now is this should be lower in saturation, causing this to be higher, darker in value, making it appear lighter. And then the red is going to subtract out those orange elements and push it towards yellow. That's the theory. Uh, another way to approach this is to add complements. So in this case, we would want to add an orange or a red. Uh, and, I, and again, I need that light value. So I'm going to go with cyan because that makes a lot of sense. And again, high saturation. And I know cyan is lighter in value than, than the value we're looking at. Uh, so that's going to work for that side. For this side, we need the orange to go towards yellow. I need a dark hue and I need it also to be uh, low in saturation. So the blue makes a lot of sense here. This would this would be a case where I wouldn't change the blue because it fits perfectly. The blue is going to make this appear lighter. It's a lower saturation. Uh, and then the adding the complement of yellow is going to cause the orange to go towards yellow. So that would be uh, a perfect situation in this case. Uh, the other options we have are basically adding and subtracting. So in this side we subtracted uh, hues from the centers to make them go together. In this side we added complements. And then for the last one you could basically use any combination of these uh, to do it. So let's say let's do the red here and we'll do the cyan here and we know that those are going to work out uh, for hue, value, and saturation. So I'm going to go ahead and post that uh, so you can take a look at some of the different options that are available of, of what can happen there. Uh, you know, initially this, this ENF was correct, and for a critique, what you would do is explain why it was correct. Uh,